Welcome into the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm Ariel Epstein from Sports Grid. Joining me now, Tom Vecchio. Tom, hello, and thank you for joining us. Real excited for this DFS slate coming up this weekend. Yeah, this past week was certainly interesting. A few letdowns, but we're pushing on to week 13, so let's jump in. There is one letdown that got me last week. That was the receiving yards prop at 24 and a half for the running back of the Vikings in Dalvin Cook. He leaves the game with the a foot injury and it stops at 21 and a half receiving yards. Oh my gosh. It was so frustrating. Yet you are willing to go back to Dalvin cook this week. Why? Yeah. So I had plenty of Dalvin cook last week in DFS, uh, a bit of a letdown for him, for his, uh, you know, for the players that rostered him, but we still saw some good things. That was 22 total touches. Like you said, he left a portion of the game with that foot injury. So I don't want to take too much from that. We want to look forward to this week where he's taking on the Jaguars. They're allowing 24.3 fan points per game to opposing running backs. That's the fifth worst in the league. We saw what they did last week or what they didn't do last week against Nick Chubb, allowing 19, 144 and one to the Browns running back. We have the Vikings coming in as nine and a half point home favorites. So this is just a classic DFS spot, right? We have a super expensive running back. He's a home favorite. He can push over 20 total carries and he's expensive. So just lock him in, take that security and we'll find value elsewhere. $10,500 on FanDuel and Dalvin Cook, of course, the second most rushing yards in the NFL right there behind Derrick Henry of the Titans. Let's move into this second DFS stud. You have the wide receiver for the Chicago Bears and Allen Robinson. He's coming off a two touchdown performance. Why do you like Robinson again this week? Yeah, I like you said, he's the wide receiver for the Bears. They don't have too many options, and he leads the Bears in nearly every single receiving category outside of touchdowns. Jimmy Graham has uh, the most on team. He's right behind him. And the most red zone targets, he's also second behind Jimmy Graham. But he is first on the Bears in every single other category. 6,900 for him this week, and I want to say it's a pretty soft matchup going up against the Lions. They're allowing 32.8 FanDuel points per game to opposing wide receivers. That's the eighth worst in the league. I really don't care who's at quarterback for the Bears. I know there's plenty of talk around that, but we still see Allen Robinson having nine or more targets in nine of his 11 games this season. So we're locking in that security at somewhat of a reasonable price tag in a very soft matchup. $6,900 for Allen Robinson in fantasy for Fanzel this week, the number one wide receiver for the Bears. Number three, your DFS stud goes to Darren Waller. The tight end for the Raiders actually leads the Raiders in receiving yards this season over all the wide receivers, Hunter Renfo, Nelson Aguilar. How come you believe that Waller is going to be a DFS stud again this week? Yeah, he's up at the top of the leaderboards for the Raiders in everything, and it's by a good margin. It's not often we see a tight end as the number one option in a receiving core, but we have him with a 25% market share, and the next closest receiver is Hunter Renfro, like you just mentioned, who's down at 15%. He's a full 10% higher than the closest receiver which is certainly something to take note of. And this was also a bit of a letdown last week from the Raiders. Just a bad game in Atlanta, but they have a chance to bounce back. They're on the road against the Jets. They're a seven and a half point favorite. We want to be going back to Waller, who is, who even saw seven targets this past week against Lanny, even though he didn't do a whole lot with it. That gives him seven targets or more in seven of his 11 games this season. So we're taking the consistency. The price tag is a bit to pay for, a bit much to pay for a tight end. But we have a great matchup against the Jets. They're allowing over 12 fan points per game to opposing tight ends. So I'm going back to Devin Cook this week. I'm going back to the Raiders with Darren Waller this week. You mentioned the fantasy points allowed. The Jets also allow the third most passing yards in the league. 284 passing yards allowed by the Jets to their opponents this season. Thanks for joining us on the FanDuel Hurry Up. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Ariel Epstein. We'll see you again next time.